Hello fellow Sengoku Basara fans and welcome to another video from my series called Character Ranked List. Today I present to you my number 35, Kanbe Kuroda. So let's do this. And before we start, let us appreciate the sheer badassness of his theme music. I absolutely love this tune. I gotta say, one of my favorite. Really, really awesome. So let's do this! So, Kanbe's theme is misfortune and bad luck. Yeah, I know, th those two are basically synonyms, but... But he has so much bad luck that it had to be mentioned twice, you know? Uh, so, first of all, let's talk about his appearance. Uh, Kanbe looks really scruffy. He looks like some someone who is actually living underground, which is true, according to Sengoku Basara series. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, he's also pretty buff. You know, not so much in this game, but in Sengoku Basara Sumeragi. No, Sumeragi is this game, you dumbass. Uh, in Sengoku Basara Judge End, which is anime series based on the third game, I think. He looks super buffed, like his arms are incredible. <laughs> yeah, really muscular. Uh, so yeah, and you know, it, they should be. After all, he he drags this heavy iron ball everywhere. So yeah, you need some you need some serious muscles for pulling this off. You know. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything that I would like to say about his appearance, you know. Like, his appearance is okay. Absolutely okay. Uh, okay, so that's... That's his appearance. Now let's talk about his character. Now, Kambe Kuroda is a really, really unfortunate guy. And uh, yeah, he is basically comedic relief character, kinda. You know, he has this like running gag of him uh, trying to break free of his, uh, you know, shackles. You know, he, he keeps trying to find the key, but uh, he's, you know, unsuccessful over and over and over. And yeah, that's that's his thing. That's his thing. Uh, there's not much else to say about him. And uh, you know, it's a pity because he's actually a pretty interesting guy, you know. Uh, in reality, he was this general or strategist who tried to betray Hideyoshi Toyotomi, but he was found out and, you know, that was the end of his uh, scheme. Uh, so yeah, he should be pretty intelligent and uh, even kind of menacing, but he is not. In actually, in this game, he's not. And uh, that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because I would love to see the bad ass side of this guy. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say about his character. Now let's talk about gameplay, shall we? So I always wanted to try this. Yeah, it, it works. Great. Okay, um... So... What, what was I trying to tell? Oh yeah, gameplay. Oh, thank you! Now I'm even freaking slower than I should be. That's... that's amazing great great absolutely great let me break free okay so gameplay wise Kambe is <laughs> you saw that slow motion 
Oh well. Uh, Kembe is slow. Yeah, it's like... That's for sure. Kembe is like maybe even the slowest character in the entire Sengoku Basara series. He is really super slow guy. But boy... Uh, he can do some serious damage. Plus... His uh, normal combo is really, really useful if you are in a crowd, you know, you hit, like, everybody, you know, check this out, it's amazing, it's absolutely amazing, kinda slow, but still really, really amazing, uh, but yeah, uh, his slow uh, movement is definitely something that I can't ignore and it's basically the reason why Kambe is so low on this list because you know I just uh, don't like slow guys you know, I definitely prefer speed over strength you know that's that's just how, how I like things uh, oh, by the way, I absolutely love the his shouting uh, in the end of his Basar attack. It's, it's, it's really cool, and also like he, one of his coolest attacks, R1. Oh man, the sheer power of this! Like, can you imagine Kambe being totally angry and free? Oh. That would be hell, man. I, I would I would pay some serious money for seeing that. Like, really. Uh, so yeah, but obviously Kambe is, you know, eternal prisoner. And we will probably not see him free, like, ever. Because then you would, like, have to completely recreate his character. Uh... But it's still nice to dream. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think about Kambe Kuroda. Uh, do you like him? Do you dislike him? And who is your number 35? You know, I'm, I'm genuinely interested in that. So yeah, I, I hope I didn't forget anything. This, this video seems kind of short. Probably. Yeah, I, I don't really have anything to say about this guy because I don't really know him. So, yeah, if you have some interesting facts about him, then please be so kind and share them in the comment section below. Because now I kind of realize that I really don't know what to say about this guy. He's kind of... He's a bit mystery to me. So yeah, that's everything from me about Kambe Kuroda. Uh, I really like this guy in Sengoku Basara 3, but there were only 16 characters. So yeah, now, now obviously he's lower. <laughs> okay, so until next time, I bid you farewell.